Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to learn how to create an image sequence and also how to import an image sequence in Octane Blender. Okay, so let's get started. So to create an image sequence, you need to create an animation. So any kind of animation. So in this situation, I'm going to create an animated tree. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to use um, this add-on here. Let me see, sampling tree generate. I think this is probably almost sure that this is from Blender, so it's native from Blender, and you don't need to to download it and install it. So. Um, here, let me see what kind of trees we have. This is too big. Yeah, maybe this one. It's a little nicer. Um, nope. Maybe. Maybe this one here. Okay. Um, here on the settings, if you change it to leaves, you can add leaves. Okay, and if you come here on the armature and turn on use armature, also, if you go back to the settings, go to animation and turn on armature animation, leaf animation, and play the animation, here we go we have a very nice tree animated, right? So we are going to use this guy here to simulate, to create actually the image sequence. Okay, so let's take a look what you have. I'm going to get into my camera. Um, I'm going to adjust my camera, my perspective. Uh, I'm going to add a sun. Click render. Um, here on the render settings, if you turn on alpha channel, uh, you have the background in alpha, but this is not what I want actually. Um, right click, go to the octane menu, go to the environment, then add a backplate and let's add a black backplate yep so what we are going to do is create kind of a alpha um, to this sequence so we are going to create in another blender file we are going to create an unshadow animation based on these three uh, on this animated tree okay so let me Play it again. It looks nice. So the last thing you have to do is select your object. Go to the object properties and here on Octane, you have to change it to reshapeable proxy. So same for the leaves reshapable proxy and the reason you have to do that is because this add-on created this kind of amateur uh, inside the lines and octane doesn't render if you don't change it to reshapable proxy so you have to actually it ran it renders but it renders just the steel image. So if you want to, to render the animation, you won't be able to do that. Okay, so um, now it's just time to render, set your folders and press Ctrl F12 and that's it. Okay, so this is what I got. So we have several frames here, a hundred and a half actually. Um, and all animated. 
Woohoo! Very nice. So let's take a look uh, how to import it in Blender Octane. So um, I'm going to create a plane here. I'm going to use this scene. And oops, this guy here. I was trying something. Um, let's create a plane. Go. Um, what you have to do is add a material, add an image texture. Oops, image texture. Go and go to um, the folder directory. Um, image sequence. This one. Press here. Here we have the entire animation. So if you press A and click on open image, you're going to see the Octane aut automatically change the image texture to the image sequence. So here you can set how many frames your animation has. So in this example, we have a hundred and a half. So you should set a hundred and a half here. And when um, the animation will start, so it will start on the frame one, okay? And that's it. Let's take a look uh, what we have. So I'm going to plug it on the albedo. And let's take a look here. And from now on, you can explore your imagination. So here, I'm going to use this guy as a tree for shadow. So let me rotate it. Like this. I'm going to plug this guy here on the opacity. And let's change a little bit um, the direction of the sun. Something like this. So as you can see, and now if you play, you can play the, like the animation. Of course, um, we need to render it um, properly, but this is uh, how we import image sequence on Blender Octane. So very nice, very fun. I hope you have enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'll be glad to answer. So thanks again. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.